cost of your travel until 2020. The fares freeze applies to pay-as-you-go single fares on bus, tube, tram, DLR, and for charges on Santander cycles. It's part of the commitment by the Mayor and TfL to make travel in London more affordable. To the Mayor of London and TfL, every journey matters. To re-record your message at any time, press hash. Hey baby, no that's rubbish. Hey, you're just calling to see what's shaking. I just mean just checking in before I hit the old uh, Jim Rooney. No. Hi, I just, I just love you, okay? Can't say that. Message completed. No. No, 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 no. With Vodafone Pay As You Go One, you can stay in touch as much as you like and never pay more than one pound a day. The rest is on us. Hi, listen, um, about that message. Search Vodafone Pay As You Go One. The future is exciting. Ready? Vodafone. Opt in and spend one pound a day for unlimited standard calls and text plus 500 meg of data in the UK and a Europe zone. Terms of exclusion at vodafone.co.uk forward slash pay as you go one. Here are some things you can afford to miss at work. Keyboard warriors. Meaningless jargon. Uh, let's just circle back in the line. That thing that's going round. <laughs> but you can't afford to miss calls to your small business because missed calls cost you money. E-receptionist manages and diverts your calls. Plus, you can dial out from your e-receptionist number on your mobile. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at ereceptionist.co.uk. T's and C's apply. See website for details. Sheila Fogarty on LBC whether you think music lessons in school and not just the sort of designated music lessons but access to music access to musical instruments I know that's a problem for a lot of schools um, and loads of us have them I remember years ago um, in, in an office I worked in we all just brought in a musical instrument if we had one a musical instrument that was languishing in, in a cupboard somewhere in our house that we weren't using and we were able to provide loads of instruments to kids in schools that wouldn't have wouldn't, wouldn't have had them ordinarily or would have had to wait weeks and weeks before they got a lesson or couldn't take one home to practice with because they just the schools just didn't have them available it's a real sort of, I think it's a real starvation of children when it comes to their education uh, if they don't have access to music. I wonder whether you agree that it is that important, as important as maths, as important as history or English uh, or the sciences. 0345 6060 973, the number to call. Mary's call from Potter's Bar. Hi, Mary. Hello. Hi, Sheila. Yeah, just listening to your um, discussion about music, it's so important that we get the music right. We've lost Mary's line so interesting can no longer hear why mary thinks it is we'll get back to mary in a moment i think let's talk to jason in chorley first hi jason hi hi sheila um i, I just was listening about the um the teacher and the impact of music on children yeah and uh, it reminded me 27 years ago i worked in a romanian orphanage and we were a bit massive charity in lots of orphanages and um there was this traveling music and dance workshop who came to stay with it a week in bucharest and uh, all of us from different orphanages came together and they did this workshop with these children who was, who was behaviourally delayed. There was, there was so um, disadvantages. Kids who'd been in yeah. those awful images yeah. that we remember of Romanian orphanages. Yep. Young children who couldn't communicate, who had, who, who, who you know, really we'd worked with for a long time and we knew them well. And this music group came and we were all just amazed at what this music and dance did. The children participated, they danced around, uh, it, it was just fantastic. And I, I, I never ever underestimate the value of music and dance since that day, because those children just engaged on levels we would never have thought was possible. And of course it bridges language barriers as well, doesn't it? Yeah, but if, if you can get children to engage like that, it must be beneficial in other ways in the classroom. You know, I, I think I just had the trombone at school and it never worked for me, the trombone. But, um, <laughs> We've, most of us have got a musical instrument uh, horror from school, don't we? But, but yeah, but that, the impact on those children was fantastic. Absolutely incredible. And, and unless you saw that, you'd never, never believe. So All right. I'm sure music should be in our schools. Thank you, Jason. Jason and Chorley in Lancashire. You know, it, it's one thing, I, I think it has value in and of itself, just for the sheer enjoyment of it and the aspects of the human person that it brings to life. Of course it does. It just has, because um, most of us listen to music for that reason, don't we? Or go and listen to it live or listen to it at home for that reason, because it, it just, it, it either relaxes you
contacted you, so we know that. Millions of pounds that Richard Branson has trousered from the British government. Chris Grayling's still in a job. Right, the mind boggles, or it would if there weren't at least 10 things that are even more boggling than Chris Grayling's continued employment. Uh, yeah, billions of pounds have just been given to two companies that had bid to run the East Coast uh, mainline. And, and when they bid to run it, they make various financial pledges that they have subsequently pr proven unable to keep. But rather than getting punished,